Mission complete. Touchdown confirmed. Wait, what's happening? In the world of rocket science, success and failure can be separated by mere moments. On March 2nd, SpaceX's legendary Falcon 9, the most reliable rocket in history with 414 successful landings out of 426 attempts, executed a textbook touchdown on the drone ship. Just read the instructions in the Atlantic Ocean. Eight minutes of perfect execution following the successful deployment of 21 Starlink satellites. Then disaster struck. Fire erupted from the AFT section. The suppression systems activated immediately, but it was too late. One landing leg damaged by the blaze gave way. The $50 million booster B1086, veteran of five missions, including the recent Starlink 1220 launch, slowly tipped over and crashed onto the recovery vessel. This rare mishap wasn't isolated. Just one day later, SpaceX encountered another setback when engineers identified critical issues with a super heavy booster, forcing an abort of the highly anticipated Starship Flight 8 test. Two failures within 24 hours, a stunning turn for the company that's revolutionizing space travel. But even as these setbacks unfolded, a ray of hope emerged 238,900 miles away. Firefly Aerospace's Blue Ghost Lunar Lander, launched aboard a Falcon 9 in January, touched down perfectly on the lunar surface near Mons Lahir in the Sea of Crises. As the sun rose over the desolate landscape, Blue Ghost began its mission, activating its scientific payloads and beaming back breathtaking images of Earth rising above the lunar horizon. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest developments from SpaceX, Tesla, and everything related to the world's most ambitious innovator. Let's dive right in. The Falcon 9 Booster B1086 was executing what should have been a routine landing after its fifth mission. The flight had gone perfectly. 21 Starlink satellites, including 13 with direct-to-cell capability, were heading to their designated orbits. Everything was proceeding according to plan until those final critical moments after touchdown. Engineers at SpaceX Mission Control watched as sensors detected an anomalous heat signature at the base of the rocket. Within seconds, the fire suppression systems activated, spraying retardant across the landing platform. But the damage was already done. The intense heat had compromised one of the landing legs, creating a structural weakness that couldn't support the massive 14-story tall first stage. Following the successful landing, an off-nominal fire in the AFT end of the rocket damaged one of the booster's landing legs, which resulted in it tipping over, SpaceX later explained in their official statement. What makes this failure particularly notable is its rarity. With 414 successful landings out of 426 attempts, a 97.2% success rate, the Falcon 9 has set the gold standard for rocket reusability. Just to put that in perspective, Traditional space agencies considered a 90% success rate for single-use rockets to be exceptional. SpaceX is recovering and reusing rockets with significantly higher reliability. B1086 wasn't just any booster either. In its short career, it had already completed four successful missions, including three Starlink deployments and the JESU and MAXR-3 missions. It had performed flawlessly until this point, making its loss even more significant for SpaceX's fleet. The ripple effect, Starship Flight 8 delay. Less than 24 hours after the B-1086 incident, all eyes were on Starbase in Boca Chica, Texas. SpaceX was preparing for Starship Flight 8, the next major test in its ambitious development program. The massive 397-foot-tall rocket, the largest and most powerful ever built, stood ready on the launch pad. The countdown was proceeding normally until approximately 30 minutes before the scheduled 5.45 p.m. Central Standard Time liftoff. SpaceX commentator Dan Hewitt noted that engineers were working on an issue that might cause a hold at T minus 40 seconds. Sure enough, the countdown halted for more than five minutes as teams assessed the problem. In a brief moment of optimism, SpaceX lifted the hold, only to reinstate it five seconds later when additional anomalies with the super heavy booster were detected. After several tense minutes of troubleshooting, the launch director made the call. This is the launch director. We are scrubbing for the day. Elon Musk later provided more insight on X. 
Too many question marks about this flight, and then we were 20 bar low on ground spin start pressure. Best to stand down, inspect both stages, and try again in a day or two. This scrub was unusual for the Starship program. Despite being an experimental vehicle of unprecedented size and complexity, SpaceX has maintained an impressive launch cadence with Starship, typically launching right on schedule. Across seven previous test flights, the company has rarely had to delay due to technical issues on launch day. 2025, the year of operational Starship. While these setbacks grabbed headlines, they represent mere speed bumps in SpaceX's broader roadmap. 2025 is poised to be transformative for the Starship program, potentially marking its evolution from experimental vehicle to operational system. After four groundbreaking test flights in 2024, culminating in a triumphant landing and multiple controlled splashdowns, SpaceX is shifting gears. With FAA approval in process for up to 25 Starship flights per year, we could soon see launches occurring almost weekly, an unprecedented pace for a rocket of this scale. The development timeline is accelerating for good reason. SpaceX holds a $2.9 billion NASA contract to develop Starship as the Human Landing System, HLS, for the Artemis III mission. Humanity's return to the lunar surface after more than half a century. Starship Block II, which recently debuted, represents a significant step forward, sacrificing some payload capacity for improved performance. But the true game-changer will be Block III, which aims to transform Starship from groundbreaking prototype to fully operational workhorse. The key technological breakthrough enabling this transition is advanced cryogenic fluid management, the system that will allow Starship to efficiently transfer propellant in orbit. Without this capability, sustained lunar missions and eventually deep space exploration simply aren't possible. Block 3 isn't just another iteration, an industry analyst told us. It's the version that could redefine what's possible in spaceflight. If SpaceX gets the cryogenic fluid management right, it won't just be a step forward for Starship. It'll be a giant leap for humanity's return to the moon and beyond. SpaceX's ambitious 2025 launch schedule. The company is targeting an astonishing 175 to 180 launches this year, just for the Falcon family of rockets. That's compared to a total of 138 rockets launched globally in 2024. This would represent more than one launch every other day on average. SpaceX's Starlink constellation continues to drive this unprecedented cadence. Of the 26 Falcon 9 missions already completed in 2025, 19 have been dedicated to Starlink deployments. The network currently has more than 7,000 operational satellites in low Earth orbit, providing internet connectivity to users across the globe. The March 2nd launch marked the 20th orbital rocket launch of the year from Florida's Space Coast alone. For perspective, just a decade ago, the entire United States averaged only about 20 orbital launches per year. A ray of hope. Blue Ghost's perfect landing. Amidst these challenges, Firefly Aerospace's Blue Ghost lunar lander has provided a much-needed success story. Launched aboard a Falcon 9 on January 15th from Kennedy Space Center's historic Pad 39A, Blue Ghost completed its 46-day journey to the moon with a perfect touchdown near Mons La Hire in the vast Mare Crisium, Sea of Crises, on the moon's northeastern near side. Firefly is literally and figuratively over the moon, CEO Jason Kim announced after the landing. This bold, unstoppable team has proven we're well-equipped to deliver reliable, affordable access to the moon, and we won't stop there. As the lunar day began, Blue Ghost activated its suite of 10 NASA scientific instruments, which are now collecting valuable data on lunar composition, geology, heat flow, and space weather. Some instruments are designed to operate even through the harsh lunar night when temperatures plunge to minus 280 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 173 degrees Celsius. The mission will test groundbreaking technologies, including innovative drilling equipment and instruments to observe the mysterious way lunar dust levitates at sunset, a phenomenon that has puzzled scientists since the Apollo era. Blue Ghost's success represents a major milestone for NASA's Commercial Lunar Payload Services program, 
which partners with private companies to deliver science and technology payloads to the moon in support of the Artemis program. The private moon race accelerates Blue Ghost isn't alone in this new era of lunar exploration. Another CLPS participant, Intuitive Machines' second lander, Odysseus Reurium-2, successfully entered lunar orbit on Monday. Teams are now preparing for a landing attempt near the moon's south pole on Thursday, March 6th. Tokyo-based Ispace's Resilience Lander, which shared a ride to space with Blue Ghost on the same Falcon 9, is taking a more extended route to the moon, with its landing attempt scheduled for late May or early June. This surge in lunar missions reflects growing international interest in establishing a sustainable presence on our nearest celestial neighbor. We're witnessing the birth of a lunar economy, explained a NASA official. These commercial missions are proving that access to the moon no longer requires the resources of a superpower. It's becoming routine. Learning from failure, SpaceX's engineering philosophy. For SpaceX, the Falcon 9 tipping incident in Starship Delay represent valuable learning opportunities rather than setbacks. This approach has been central to the company's rapid progress since its founding. While it's disappointing to lose a rocket after a successful mission, the team will use the data to make Falcon even more reliable on ascent and landing, SpaceX stated after the B-1086 incident. This philosophy of test, fail, fix, repeat has enabled SpaceX to advance rocket technology at a pace that has shocked the aerospace industry. Traditional approaches might have involved years of ground testing before attempting the kinds of maneuvers that SpaceX routinely performs. B1086's fall will undergo thorough analysis with engineers examining telemetry data, video footage, and potentially recovered hardware. The lessons learned will inform procedural changes and possibly hardware modifications to prevent similar failures in the future. As for Starship Flight 8, the delay allows engineers to thoroughly inspect both the Super Heavy Booster and Starship Upper Stage, addressing the pressure anomaly and any other potential issues before attempting another launch. In rocket development, every failure contains the seeds of future success, Musk has often said. The only true failure is the failure to learn. The road ahead, challenges and opportunities. As SpaceX pushes the boundaries of what's possible in space transportation, challenges are inevitable. The company's ambitious launch schedule, coupled with its rapid development of Starship, places enormous demands on its engineering and production capabilities. The success of Firefly's Blue Ghost Lander demonstrates the growing maturity of commercial lunar exploration. As more companies and countries join the new space race, we're entering an era of unprecedented activity beyond Earth orbit. For Starship, the path to operational status includes several critical milestones. Demonstrating reliable Starlink satellite deployment, achieving sustained orbital operations, and perfecting the refueling technology needed for deep space missions. NASA's Artemis program timeline adds urgency to this development. With astronauts scheduled to return to the lunar surface before the decade's end, SpaceX must deliver on its promise to create a human-rated landing system capable of safely transporting crew to and from the moon's surface. The story of SpaceX has always been one of resilience. From nearly bankruptcy in 2008 to becoming the world's leading launch provider, the company has continuously demonstrated that setbacks are merely stepping stones to greater achievements. The B-1086 incident and Starship Flight 8 delay are no different. They're data points in the relentless pursuit of making humanity multiplanetary. As Blue Ghost sends back breathtaking lunar imagery, Intuitive Machines prepares for its South Pole landing, and SpaceX works to perfect Starship, we're witnessing the dawn of a new space age. This isn't just about rockets and technical specifications. It's about expanding human potential beyond the boundaries of our home planet. The path to the stars is never straight, as one SpaceX engineer noted. But with each challenge we overcome, the destination grows closer. What do you think about these recent developments? Drop a RIP B1086 in the comments to pay respects to the fallen booster or share your predictions for Starship's next flight. We value your insights and would love to hear your thoughts on how these events might shape the future of space exploration. If you enjoyed this deep dive into SpaceX's latest developments, hit that like button and subscribe to Elon Musk 24 hours 
for daily updates on everything happening at SpaceX, Tesla, and beyond. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss our coverage of Starship Flight 8 when it finally takes to the skies. Thank you for joining us on this journey beyond Earth. Until next time, keep looking up.